The century is drawing to a close, and the future looks rosy for transport magnates. The Iron Curtain is falling. East and West are coming together, cautiously. Europe is coalescing. One woman, known respectfully by both friend and foe as the Iron Lady, has done capitalism a major service. She has shrunk the welfare state, pulverized the unions, and placed public enterprises in the hands of private business. Ideal conditions for new projects. Hi folks, and welcome back to my Transport Fever Europe campaign. And uh, this is the last mission. It is the year 1987, and Margaret Thatcher has just been elected Prime Minister of Great Britain for the third time in a row. Finally, a project can now be tackled that has been planned for over 200 years. A land connection to bring travelers from France to England without getting their feet wet. A tunnel under the English Channel. We have been chosen to build this engineering masterpiece. Let's demonstrate our skills. Finally, it can begin. The tunnel was actually supposed to have been built ages ago, but the last time it was attempted, there suddenly wasn't any money for it, stupidly. But everyone's in good spirits this time, especially our investors. But we're waiting on government grants in vain. Mrs. Thatcher will not grant us any. However, unemployment is high and workers are cheap. Let's make sure we can get the goods we need for construction at a low price, too. So, yeah. We are going to... Transport some goods. Let's see. We got... Uh, the tunnel thick side on the English side and the tunnel digging side on the French side. We got the machine factory uh, here. And the two construction site needs machines. Well, that makes sense. They're digging a big tunnel. Uh, also got something up here. Okay, this, there is gonna be some transporting back and forth, I think. Got the iron on this side, and we got the steel factory here, and we got the coal up here. Got wood and the plank facility, sawmill, <laughs> um, on that side, and we need steel and planks for the machines so yeah we should definitely well it says in the mission we should sail some stuff to uh, the tech sites so um Here's probably okay. Like that. And I'm gonna put it down here just upside over. And I think I'm gonna go all the way with this these ships um, that um, <coughs> sorry like this
So I think I'm gonna move this all around with trucks. Um truck truck and trucks. Yeah, that's definitely the plan. Um and ferris in between. Trucks and trucks. I'm gonna build some roads and buy some trucks and I'll bring you back when it's all done. See you in a bit. Welcome back. So yeah, I set up a lot of lines, uh, mainly trucks for now. Uh, if you see here in uh, Great Britain, we have a line going from uh, the forest to the sawmill. And uh, yeah, uh, the green one here is planks from the sawmill to uh, the trade depot or the ship depot or the shipyard or what should we call it. And uh, we got this light green from uh, the coal mine. So, um, to the docks and from the docks uh, to the deck side, we have machines. And over here in France, I made it so we have a line from um, the ore mine, you know, the iron ore mine, uh, to the steel mill. And I have one line going from the shipyard the docks uh, with coal and the same line is going to bring steel to here and then I made a line from here that's going to take planks and steel up to the machine factory and the same line is going to bring back machines to the ship docks uh, shipyard and last but not least I made it so there is a line from the French uh, tunnel deck side with machines up to the machine factory. So yeah, a little of everything. The only thing I need now is ships and I'm gonna spend a lot of money on ships, I suspect. Um, I suppose. So yeah. Okay, we only have this one, and that's a million a piece. And I think I'm gonna buy him um, three ships on every side. Uh, and I actually think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna limit them. So I'm gonna make this cool and make this one. Um, planks and this one I'm gonna make machines right coal and planks over to France and machines back to the English side of the tunnel yeah and I'm gonna do that um, yeah I'm gonna do that on the other side too First, let's put up lines Get rid of like that. Um, there. Oh, no. Lagging. Why are you lacking? Oh, this game seriously needs um, needs an uh, optimization patch. Um, anywho, uh, I'm gonna call that one coal. Um, gonna new line. Um, are you lagging again? Nope, I just get, didn't hit it. Like that. And I want them scan going to be planks.
And last but not least, the machines. Yes. Um, the reason why I'm making it li it like this um, is because, as I recall, the game mechanic um, as I recall the game mechanics um, it's gonna take uh, gonna take um what is the, what is this I'm trying to say it's gonna take um that cargo there are most of uh and I'm a little I'm a I'm a little afraid of if that's gonna be the same thing every time the ships come in because uh, the ship have has a capacity of a hundred and fifty but it can't it can't take like 50 planks and 50 coal and 50 machines it's not going to do that if there is three coal it's going to take three coal and it's not going to bother with the rest so i hope when i do it like this um the game is going to take everything and I'm gonna buy the same three ships on the other side here. And I'm gonna set all ships to go on the same time. Um, so they are spaced out. So when the ships from branch arrive, this should be, uh, this should be the English ships should be arriving in France and they're just gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Um, in the beginning, it's probably not going to make me any money, but, well, we're going to see. Uh, coal, planks, and machines. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm going to let this run for a bit, and I'm going to bring you back when when something happens so yeah see you in a bit the geology of the english channel is mostly known in the interest of safety however we should still examine the nature of the seabed so there are no mishaps after all it was the fear of something disastrous happening that prevented our predecessors from undertaking this project time and again and they didn't just mean the invasion by continental europeans So yeah, uh, I forgot to turn on the mic, <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, um, you're gonna buy the ship and you're gonna make it sail for, where are the ship? Oh, I did it. It was the wrong one. Um, I set it to sail to Dover and, uh, uh yeah stop it in good time because it is a freight ship so it's it's going to stop slowly uh but this one yeah it's this one i got confused before <laughs> um yeah and it's gonna sit in the green circle for uh, at least 60 days um, kind of fun you're gonna examine the seabeds uh, at this location when the tunnel is gonna go from here to here but 
Well, I'm not a seabedologist, but um, yeah. So um, the game hasn't been running for that long, so uh, nothing new to tell you, other than the seabed. That's done now. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you back when something exciting happens. So yeah, see you in a bit. The resources are ready, and so the tunneling machines designed especially for this endeavor can be constructed. They are outright factories that dig completely autonomously and transport away debris and secure the tunnel walls. Long live modern technology. Let's not waste any time and ensure that the squads on either side of the channel meet in the middle quickly. This way we'll avoid any unnecessary costs. And that is absolutely necessary. Our first financial backers are already threatening to jump. Oh yeah, it's... It's just going as I... I hoped. Um, got a lot of planks and coal at the dock in Dover, and it's uh, being transported to France. And in France, uh, the planks and uh, and the steel. Uh, well, the coal is going for the steel plant, and the same trucks are delivering steel down to here and steel up here and uh, I think I'm gonna buy some more trucks so it's gonna go a little faster because as of now um, only receiving planks so yeah yeah again I'm gonna bring you back when something exciting happens they are grinding down our motivation with their negative attitude almost as badly as the hard rock is grinding down our tunneling machines. There's a solution to the latter problem, however. More machines. A mobile spare parts warehouse, so to speak. That being said, we should make considerably faster progress if we could do without the extra deliveries. An engineer from Hastings thinks he knows how to optimize our machines for the hard rock. We should look for him. The mechanical engineer has promised to optimize our machines to cut through the hardest rock like butter. We just need to deliver some of our machines to him so that he can test his adjustments in practice. Yeah, so I had a hunch that um, this facility did something so I already placed. Um, already placed the... Uh, a truck uh, stop up there so yeah I, cu I cut the road up here just to prevent uh, civilian traffic on the road slowing my trucks down um, I don't know if it's speedy or not but it helped um, I'm not quite sure what I've saved if I saved any time at all, but um, yeah, I'm temporarily gonna remove this stop and selecting his job instead. So um, I'm not sure why, but. But the uh, most of the tools, I mean, the machines are delivered at the France side first. Um, and I hope it's not gonna uh, make any troubles. I'm not sure. I'm, it probably isn't. But my plan is when when I've delivered the thousand machines to the French deck side, I'm just gonna 
take uh, the trucks from here and put it on this line here. Uh, I'm probably gonna reroute all the machines to the shipyard so the ships can ship them to England or Great Britain. Um, so that's the plan. Um, we're gonna see what this is going to do for us. You only need 10 machines. So I hope it's gonna happen fairly quick or well I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bring you back when it's time. The engineer was successful, even more successful than expected. The number of machines required at both tunnel construction sites has been reduced. So yeah, it took um, 100 machines of each tunnel site, so we should be able to finish a little faster. So it's a good mission to take. Uh, so yeah. Um, well, there's still not much to see. It's still just going as planned. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna bring you back when it's all done. Not all done, but this mission are done. I expect there is a mission more. Probably something with, I don't know, putting trains under the tunnel and transporting some passengers. Yeah, I'll bring you back. The unit. It. It's done. The tunnel is complete. Now all we have to do is stop the English from hating the tunnel. The newspapers are full of horror stories about invasions of killer moths and rabid rats and legions of Frenchmen stinking of garlic. Let's see to it that this nonsense is banished to the realm of legends. It appears the people's fears are unfounded. The Queen brought back neither killer moths nor rabid rats on the grand inaugural journey through the tunnel but merely the French Prime Minister. We have a completely different problem. Construction costs are twice as high as planned. On top of that, there are unexpectedly hefty maintenance costs. It'll be ages before this thing becomes profitable. Oh yeah. I finished off the first part. Second part must be um now we need to transport passenger a thousand and goods also a thousand so yeah my plan is uh, always uh, i'm already uh, prepared a little bit i built a station in every town a passenger station because i imagined that that it um uh, it would ask me to do something like that. Uh, Gus, I think the easiest thing is just to put a Gus station at the ports and stop the ferries um, and let the train do what the ship used to do. Um, then we just can let the trucks keep going. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that's the plan. Uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna build up the tracks and stuff like that. And, um, and then I'm, I bring you back and show you what I've did. So see you in a bit. So yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I, um, I lost some uh, footage, um, so yeah, uh, I'm just gonna show you what I've built instead of building it again. <laughs> uh, luckily, um, it autosaves every year, I think. So I'm um, just uh, jump back into the game. Um, 
a couple of years before I'm succeeding. Uh, yeah, uh, let's see um, what I did. I can't remember exactly where um, where the footage ended, but I started uh, off by building trade station uh, outside of Yeah, I don't know. Clarice. Nice. The lies? Something like that. Anywho, uh and I built a freight station freight trace train station outside of Dover. Um as a replacement for our shipyards. So the shipyards are, I could delete them, but I haven't. Uh, I sold all the ships and I put in uh, trains instead. Uh, where are you, the trains? There's one here. And um, yeah, it takes uh, coal planks from uh, the British side, and it takes uh, machines from uh, the French side, and uh, yeah, and just going back and forth like this. Um, through my my hub station and under the tunnel and over on the British side up this way and out yeah and that's the the route it's uh, I did that first because uh, then it could earn me money while I was building uh, the trains, passenger trains. And uh, yeah, uh, I built uh, a station in every town, as you can see here. And I connected um, the British towns to the British hub, train hub. Uh, a lot of tracks going up this way these two for Hastings I think it was and uh, these fours go this way up this way and don't mind the <laughs> the tracks it's uh, I did what was easiest for me um, not the cheapest at that point I built when I built this part I had a lot of money from the train uh brake trains um so yeah and it divides out here for that town that's, that's Dover and the other town here we can close that um not good colors but Yes, and all the city meets here. And the same thing over at the French side. Got two trains from every station going to the main hub. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of passengers waiting. Um, and the people are coming in from the different cities and need to go from here back to that city or over to that city or over to England. Now I actually think it's a it's a good way to do it. Uh, I can uh, put more trains in if necessary uh, on this side without 
putting more trains uh, on the tunnel. Uh, try not to put too many uh, trains on the tunnel so the the fast train can go as fast as possible. Uh, I haven't bought the fastest train. Uh, just bought these, I don't know what they're called. Bombs. I can't see there. They are old. Tools, ducks, I think. Uh, about two uh, on each set, um, so they can carry around 240, 244 uh, each. Uh, they're not doing that at this point, but I reckon they will in the future. Um, and then I could... I don't know if I can, yeah, maybe I sh it should be able to upgrade the station and make it one more long before I need to put two more sets on the tunnel. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much what I've been doing. Um, the trucks are the same. Uh, as 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 they always been, uh, I upgraded them for scanners, I think, Scania trucks. Um, off. Yeah. Um, and they're actually pretty old looking already. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it run out and uh, bring you back when it's all done. So yeah, the end is near. Uh, and uh, the end is coming up for the European campaign. Um, yeah, it's been fun. Um, the plan is... Uh, as of now that I'm going to play uh, free mode uh, and I think I'm gonna find a, a Danish map um, just because uh, I think that would be um, Proud of us. Yeah, um, it would be kind of fun to do a, a map looks like Denmark. Uh, so, yeah, um, I hope uh, I hope you like this playthrough of the European campaign. Uh, it's been a long way. Uh, started out with some crappy microphone and. Uh, got a new microphone and um, hopefully uh, the video got better um, as the series went on. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked it uh, and I and please leave some thumbs up and some comments. And if you like to see more, please subscribe. And the last thing I want to do is wish you a great day. Bye.